Hello everybody, it's Janice. Um, I am still working on elements for the little mini book that I'm working on about Robin and my scrapbook weekend. I wanted to show you, I created a couple things here and one of them is a glue bottle that's supposed to look like the Scotch Quick Dry Bottle. And so, I'm going to show you how I did this and where I got this from on my Cricut. No, you just had ice cream. I'm sorry. I'm, no, I'm getting one for Daniel. Out. Please. No. Did you hear this? <laughs> my son is so sweet, but he would literally buy ice cream for every kid in the neighborhood. I think that's so sweet. I thought that about my son, but anyway. Okay, so anyway, let me show you what I did. Mm. Right here on the recess cartridge, button number, what is that, eight, there is a glue, a school glue bottle. And let me just go ahead and, I think, where is it? Let's grab a new one so I can show you what I did to it. So what I did was I unlinked the height and the width. And you can do this in the Cricut Craft Room as well. And so I, I, I selected the height and I just basically just stretched it however tall I wanted it to be. Like this one is three inches tall. So I could just say three inches. Okay, then, that should be just as tall as these, then that was too skinny, so I put in one inch. And now, it's a three inch by one inch height cut. And then I did the same thing to every single one of the layers. I, I picked up the layers. If you go to the shift, there's the pieces that I cut in white to be the glue. So I unlinked them and then I just did the same thing. I went to the width. I think I just did the width and I just basically, I just put it at one inch. Okay, so that it would fit there. And then I got the layer. This one and this one and unlinked and then I did the exact same thing again to this. This one is the, I cut this one out of white, which is supposed to be the back part of the layer that says glue. So again I said one inch and then to this one I actually went into the hide contour and I hid two little strips And then I hid the, the letters. Okay, and then that's it. And now I have, oh, and then of course, like I said, the width back to one inch. And that's it. This that's gonna be red. The bottle's gonna be red. So we've got red, red, and these ones are white. And that's all of our pieces here. And then just to give it some dimension, I went around the entire, every single piece, I inked it with some vintage photo just to give it dimension. And then on this red layer, I just did some handwriting, really. Basically, I used a black marker and a white jelly roll. This is not a jelly, this is the souffle. Here it comes again. Okay, so I got, I'm just gonna write scotch. Yes! Yes! Did she get back to you? She, twice. Her request was, is, are they there? And she, and, and she said, and the babysitter yes. said, yes. And she said, okay. Oh, awesome. I don't need to, no, I have to do Come on, I don't need to do Good try. Wait, do the black one. Oh, 
adhesive. And then I'm going to go around. There we go. So that will go there. Wait, did I do this wrong? I don't think I did. This piece goes here. I'm not going to go ahead and glue it or anything. I'm just going to like that. Okay. So then I also did the skillet for the let's get some a little bit more light in here. This is for our breakfast. Um, we ate breakfast at the hotel restaurant and we both ordered the skillet breakfast, which I would get again. It was huge and so we ate it for two days and it was delicious. Um, okay, I'll be back with part two.